see we get into the vehicle and already we're having the problem with the electricity to the car there's nothing on the dash no issue no no connection even though the door is open uh, when you do that with a dodge especially a charger it's supposed to come on as soon as you open the door so we push the start button nothing happens when you push it to the next level the windshield wipers start working and it dings there's no start your check engine comes on as well as the engine light i'm sorry the check engine light and the traction control when you shut it off everything stops now as you see all the items are going haywire everything works but it's not working properly and then the windshield wipers are going as well the lights on the dash will come on and off and give you faulty readings your tachometer and everything goes crazy and then once you move these wires on the bcm i'm sorry the the canvas the problems stop or they get worse it all depends on how you move the canvas so i'm moving it around to show you some of the other issues that it creates so then i move this wire here and that stops the electrical pulse for the alarms move that wire again if you see the di the dash actually goes from yellow to white when you move that again it goes yellow that actually creates power steering issues and transmission issues remember the whole windshield wipers are, are going all at the same time you create all kinds of codes that go through the screen from tire pressure to power steering to coolant everything goes basically crazy if you move certain wires the traction control comes on and then off so here I have the canvas and what I did was connect two vice grips to the canvas with a piece of cardboard on the back uh, on both sides of the canvas you have the plugs on one side but on the other side if you can see the two boards you actually have metal contacts and those metal contacts if you were to use vice grips would then arc so I use a piece of cardboard to put between the vice grips to vice grip it down so now on the forums a lot of people are saying that it's this body control module that went bad or is going bad but in actuality as you can see the body control module is under the dash behind the dash on most of your Dodge vehicles uh, including the charger now the wiring from the BCM here right here connects to the canvas so when you're adjusting the wiring uh, as it says in the forums you're adjusting the wiring to make it work uh, what's actually happening is while you're moving these wires the wires that are connected to the canvas are actually moving at the same time so what's happening is is while you're adjusting the BCM wiring the wires on the canvas are moving the wires on the canvas actually work properly and connect properly the issue is the canvas the actual board this green board is two pieces as you can see there's one piece behind the one uh, light green and the one in the back is actually a darker green that is actually the board It's a computer style board on the back of that board has metal connectors uh, hence we're using I'm using the cardboard to use for the vice grips uh, the outer part is where the clips go in and they actually connect to the uh, computer board in the back now while you're adjusting those wires on the on the body control module it's actually moving the wires on the canvas allowing the car to work properly as it should however as the canvas continues to degrade and and not work properly the longer you do this you're actually making it degrade more and more and more to the point where at one point you're going to go to move the wires in the the body control module thinking that it's going to work 
then you're going to find out that <laughs> it no longer does it. Uh, you can pull out the body control module, uh, wiring, uh, reconnect it, and it still doesn't work. And then a lot of the guys in the forums, they get about that far and then they stop. So either they go and get it fixed from somewhere else or they, um, they figure it out themselves. Ultimately, what happened was yesterday we were in the vehicle. The body control module started acting up, or at least we thought. When I started to move the wiring, I noticed it was connected to the canvas board here. And when I moved these wires, it was doing the same thing. So I removed it from the dash and I adjusted it. Once I realized by adding pressure to the two boards, all of the alarms, all the issues stopped. Now remember, this board actually controls the fuel pump, the transmission, your uh, arm disarm for your key fob. It actually even controls the dash lights on your dash, your windshield wipers. Anything your body control module tells any of the items on the body of this car to do electronically, this, it goes from the BCM to this, from here it goes out to the vehicle. So this board, funny thing, the de uh, dealer was advising me, it's on every vehicle except the Dodge Caravans, as that's what they told me. Um, and if you look at a lot of the forums and a lot of the videos, the same issues are happening with different vehicles, but they're not realizing it's this canvas until they take it to the dealer to get it fixed. Um, in fact, there's mechanics online that they say they fix the BCM and it stops, but then the problem comes back. That's because it's not the BCM, it's the canvas. So we're going to replace the canvas and we're going to show how that's done and how it clears all the faults. That canvas board actually goes up under the dash. Now see on the forums and everything that we've read, the body control module is what they believe is actually is going bad. But in fact, it's not the BCM. The BCM, when you adjust the wires by here, by this here, you're pushing on the wires and you're, you're, you're trying to adjust the wires in the BCM by pushing them and then making them reconnect. And by doing so, it makes everything stop. It makes the dinging, the windshield wiper stop and work properly. But ultimately the reason why that is, is because while you're adjusting that wire, you're actually moving these wires, which are connected to the canvas board. So what we did when we figured out it was actually the board by pulling it out, I took the board and then I took a piece of cardboard because on the back of the canvas is actually contacts. So I took two metal vice grips and connected it to the, the canvas board. And I forced the board together because ultimately what's happening is the board is coming apart. So it's not a loose connection in the wiring or in the clips. It's a loose connection in the actual in the actual canvas board. That board, if you can see, it's actually two boards together. And in between those two boards is the contacts for these plugs. On the back of the other board, which I'll show you when I take apart, is the actual contact metal, which then relays the information that the computer is telling from the onboard body control module to the car. Um, these work the windshield wipers, the uh, headlights, turn signals. It actually even some of these wires actually control the transmission and the way it shifts. And what we did was I clamped the board down with two vice grips making the board connect solidly very solid so that way it's connected and there's no more loose connection all of that comes from this board and the way you adjust this board is what makes the alarms go off on the back of the board is the contacts I was talking about 
and why we use the cardboard for the vice grips. So what I'm going to do now is replace this board completely with a part from Mopar, which is only a dealer part. You can't get, I mean, you can get it online, but it's not authentic. It's not genuine. We'll switch it out and see what happens. Okay, so what we're going to do is we remove this part from under the dash, and then we are going to just basically, very simply, plug and play. Remove the wires from the old, plug them into the new, and there should be no problems after that. So I'm about halfway done moving the clips. As I'm doing them, I hear different sounds throughout the car. The AC actuators are moving inside. The uh, electrical pump for the fuel pump you hear whirl. Um, so as I'm moving these, uh, the items it's connected to are, are engaging as well. Okay, so I've completely moved all the wiring from the old to the new. Um, everything is properly secured and seated. As soon as we open the door, as you see, the dash comes on as it's supposed to. And everything is working so far. Put on the brake. And go ahead and start the car. And it did exactly what it's supposed to do. Gauges are going, dinging, and everything clears. Put everything away and secure it and make sure that um, everything works is the way it should. But already that's more than a lot of the forums. Again, they stop. They can't figure out where to go from the BCM. And most of them kind of break down and go to the, the dealer. This part right here makes it to where the vehicle won't even start. Uh, your push to start button won't even work. So this little part right here is $90. Um, can create massive headache for Dodge Charger or any Dodge vehicle that has a push to start button. Um, anyone that has a push to start button and you're having where you get into the vehicle and you, you, you push the start button and it doesn't start and it doesn't even turn on except for the windshield wipers, that is an indication your canvas is going bad. Or as if you're driving down the road, one of the things that started, and this is how it started, as you would be driving down the road, the car would hit a bump or you'd hit a speed bump or you'd hit a pothole or you'd hit the reflector and this canvas under the dash would vibrate uh, because it's attached to the frame of the vehicle and um, it would shake loose and you would get all those center uh, those faults it's this board here that's what's been the problem and um, it's not the body control module although the bcm is very very important as you're adjusting these wires in this blue harness they are actually connected as you can see right here they're connected to the canvas so as you're adjusting those wires like they say in the forums you are correct and it is correcting the problem but it's not because it's here it's because this line is connected to the canvas which is also moving the wires on the canvas board which ultimately is adjusting the connections inside of this two-piece board as i said to you before it's two pieces let me show you here you actually have a computer board attached to a plastic basically the plastic housing and as time goes on you can see on this one the the gap that it's been created and so what happens is is these pins inside of the board don't connect to these contacts which then send the information from here in the last wire harness to the rest of the vehicle. This part right here will ultimately, if you don't know, cause you to get a tow truck, get towed somewhere, and then have somebody tell you they can't figure it out, and then tell you to take it to a dealer, and then the dealer will tell you that they need five hours to figure it out at dealer cost, and then they're gonna give you a part, double the price, and then they're gonna charge you labor to put it in. And anywhere from 2,000 to 2,500 to $3,000 later, your car will run. Whereas for $95,
you can install this yourself. You go to the local dealer, pick it up, and um, every time you get into the car, it will come on, and every time you touch your start button, you won't have windshield wipers come on for no reason, as this. I don't have my foot on the brake, so it's not gonna start like it's supposed to, but everything comes on like it's supposed to and operates properly. No windshield wipers, no issues. I hope this helps you guys, anyone that's out there that can't figure it out or hasn't been able to. It's a simple canvas part. The canvas part is going to be as follows here on this board here. 6823-0877. A as in alpha, A as in alpha. Again, every Dodge, except for the Caravans, for some reason has this. And any Dodge that has that failed push to start, when you go to push to start, you think it's your battery or you think it's your key fob. Uh, it's not. It's going to be your canvas going bad. Um, the canvas is held under your dash um, near a very hot source, which is interesting because it's plastic. And over time, it just it grows a, a gap between the boards from the heat um, and the only way to fix it is to add like I had to with the vice clamps to put pressure on the boards to hold it together as tight as possible until I could get the new part I hope that helps motor one's pretty stupid you know but this is one of our last 10 Dodge Chargers I kept this one out of the 10 uh, it's only got 50,000 miles on it beautiful car Still got my Tahoe, my 250, and my bikes, but trying to go to a normal life a little bit. Anyways, guys, hope that was good enough for you. Sorry I look like shit. Was under the car working, trying to fix the problem. Um, but I finally got it. Now I know what it is. Took care of it, fixed it, and as you saw, because I actually didn't test it before I ran the video, it started perfectly, and um, looks like I fix the problem the way it needed to be fixed see you guys later motor one's moving